Hello everybody. So here we are with our new collection. So I want to say welcome to Highlight Crafts, our Facebook Live, for our new Nature's Collectibles Volume 2. Now I know Volume 1 was a big hit. Oh my days, you're going to love this. It, yeah, oh yeah, I do remember that you did have a little sneaky peek of Volume 2. So, but this is the actual real launch as opposed to the mishap. <laughs> so this is just, oh, beautiful. It really is. So we've got three dies. Each one has got um, an outside die so we can um, do our card shapes, which are beautiful. I have got some incredible samples. You can always tell when the design team love it because the samples are beautiful. And we've got a little bit of home decor, a little few, few different things for you going on. So to start off with, let's go through what you're actually getting and then we'll talk through the actual sample. Hi Rachel, oh thank you for getting in touch. You've bought yours already. Have you been playing, have you already cut some out and made some samples? So, um, this is our first one. Look at this. Isn't it absolutely glorious? Little sneak peek there. Move that over. So, um, again, we've got the composition of this is really, really clever because being able to snip into this and use it in different ways and create some incredible decoupage pieces with this, it, it really is a beautiful, beautiful collection. And I will say, I think it's going to be one of your favourites. I know it definitely was one of mine when I started working with it. I thought this is just phenomenal. So we have this one and we've got butterflies with this. So that's our first one. And we are blooming wings because of the butterflies. And like I say, we've got the matte layer as well. So this is a super simple card, super quick to make. Cut out uh, your actual card blank, pop that on, maybe a little bit of decoupage, some butterflies and it's done. And that could be for anybody. Our second one has got lilies and uh, yeah, you'll have to forgive me, I'm not fantastic with my flower names at all, but I know these are lilies, these are daisies, and from there on, I'm not absolutely sure. Um, I think that could be a chrysanthemum. So we are on this one, we are Flutterby, again, just beautiful. The snippability on all three of these is phenomenal. Really is just stunning. And again, you're getting that white matte layer, so it's going to create a card blank. Really super quick and easy. Hi, Julia. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. It is lovely that you all come along and drop on and join us. I know it was going to be Stephanie, but I've stepped in at the at, at, at last minute. But it is stunning collection. I know you're going to love it. It really is. Now. Out of the three, this was going to be my favourite. This is uh, Be Happy. Oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. The colourway is just beautiful. Look at all these little buzzy bees that we get as well. It really is just, just beautiful. So again, super easy card on its own to make, but wait until you see the samples, okay? They are just delightful. Oh my goodness, you like I say, you can really tell Everybody has thoroughly enjoyed working with this one. So to start off with, we have our card blank, which has got a scene on it. We've even used our extra little bunnies. So we've brought in some of the animals in here and look how wonderful that actually, just how it sweeps around the card. So for making your wreaths and things, this is gonna be perfect. Just because of the layout and how they are, they, they formed in different directions. Then something a little bit different. How cute is that? A lovely little gift bag. So you could do a gift bag and a tag and a card and everything all to match. Again, beautiful. And then we're starting with the decoupage on this one. How about a little bit of home decor? Look at how wonderful is that? And it lights up. So just bear with me. Are you ready? Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So if that was a night light, how stunning would that be? So this is done, it's just a jar, any jar. It's got our uh, cadence paint on it, and then it's been printed onto rice paper, and the rice paper has then been layered over the top. But that really is just beautiful. How 
And also, don't forget, you can get your reflections in the link in the post description or on the website. So you go to highlightcrafts.com and we're going to click on Nature's Collect collectibles collections or collectibles number two volume number two and all of the reflections are there for you okay and it really is i know you're going to love this just the snip ability alone because you can really create some fantastic bouquets and it, it was just wonderful so this is lovely because we we've steve's done this one for us we've got a, a super little frame just little elements just a few but then that beautiful swirl of butterflies in the middle one of my favorites because i do like i say i do love this very super simple just a dl card with one on and a background and a few of the little bees buzz buzzing around hi jacqueline thank you for joining us and the f joining us for the first time well welcome welcome to the highlights family you uh, come on in Oh, bless you. Watching for the first time. How wonderful. And it's you know, nice that you didn't miss it, but you can always re-watch it. So we've got a lovely stepper. How fabulous is this? But this one, look how wonderful. It's been done on acetate. So this is our construction acetate, but look how dramatic it can be. So that is using pretty much all of the florals. That's using all of the florals, but look how fabulous it is. So to me, this could be, um, it almost um, reminds me of the cottage gardens. Yeah, absolutely cottage garden border, which is fabulous. Andrew, that's up in the gallery, he's just said exactly the same thing. It reminds, me, it reminds him of a garden. So we've got even the bees and all the butterflies buzzing around, just as you'd find them. And on a day like today that is foggy, miserable and cold out here in Derbyshire, as much as I love being here, it is just wonderful to have just a little ray of sunshine working with these. So again, using that acetate, the wreath, see? And it just absolutely works beautifully, doesn't it? Because it's shaped that way. And again, look at the depth and the decoupage, everything that's on here, okay? And these that you can do all of this at home when you get the collection home. Look at this for a super stepper. Do you want me to turn that round for you, Andrew? You're going to go from the front. Look at that. How wonderful is that? Let me just move a few. Look, isn't that beautiful? And again, super simple. Using our lovely Robin's Feet frames as well. And then for the stopper, we've got some of our little bits of decoupage and our little bumblebees. But isn't that a super sweet card? I, that is love it. And I love the colourway there that we've gone with. Another one that's a frame and then we've gone with a little bit of vellum so this is a vellum actual um, uh, backing paper and the lovely Vicky's done this for us and then decoupage some of the elements on the front and I love how she's done this scoring around the edge so she's added a border just by using um, a scoring board which is wonderful very underrated scoring boards so another one super simple using our papers as faux ribbon picking out those colorways that are there as well love this i think this is one of my favorite dyes and i must admit it is a beautiful collection to work with now we get into what i say the show stoppers as, as such it because look at this look what you can do here so you wouldn't imagine those those images that i showed you at the beginning could create something like this but isn't that just beautiful so again we're going with the wreath element we're bringing in our other ones that we've used before our um two red robins that have been collections so you've got all of these little animals so you can imagine sitting all of those lovely little animals that we've had in the past um so we've got Pip here, but it could be Scuttle or Buddy, or we could have our little rabbits in there. But they're just gorgeous, aren't they? And it just just is creates some beautiful, beautiful um, home decor. So this is home decor. So then look at this. How wonderful is that? So we've had our lovely Steve, uh, Vicky and Lou. And this is one that Lou's done for us. But when I tip that to the side, look at how deep that is. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? 
So that hanging on a wall is just going to be incredible. So Lou again has used our cadence paints on the frame. She's used our Craftmaster frames, those easy build build frames. She's put two together, stippled our lovely cadence on the top, picking out the colours that are within the bouquet. And then she's built all of this up on construction acetate and layered it all up, which is just divine. It really is. And then lastly, another piece of home decor, again, using our Craftsmaster uh, frames. And then uh, it's been sprayed with our, that we love in at the moment, making our own sprays with our shimmer paints and then an extender. And then we've got a matte layer in the back, but to tone it down so it didn't take away from what is in the front, some vellum's been placed over the top. So it's just muted the background a little bit for us. But again, if I tip that up and show you how many layers are on there, look how incredible on what you can do with this collection. So on this one, it's got all three. So it's got the tall one in the back and then it's got the other two pieces in there as well. So all three of the actual um, collections, all three of the dies have all been used in one here. So we can go from so home decor that we can have on our wall that we've got here to a super simple, just beautifully elegant card, okay? And also going into making our own gift bags as well. So it's so versatile. So for the whole collection, highlight our, our club members, get this for 32.38, 32.38. I didn't know it was gonna be that, 32.38, oh my goodness. So, your, so the bundle price is 35 98 and our Highlight cl uh, Club members are going to get it for 32 38 if you, want, if you want to join our Club Highlights, sign up on our website. So again, you're going to go to hi highlightcrafts.com. Got so many benefits. And every time you, get, you purchase something, you're getting points. So, and then those points make pennies, which is what we really love, isn't it? So... If you're looking for extra details as well, everything is explained on the website, okay? So if you're thinking, oh, well, how do I do this? Can I, can I spend them? Everything is really um, detailed, how it explains how you can use your points and how you get. But So our Club Highlight members can also split their payments with ClearPay. So you can have four payments of £8.10. Or you can use PayPal Pay in three. And that's three payments of £13.79. So you've got quite a few ways of changing and paying for everything. But I think that for this collection, oh, £32.38, that is incredible value. That is really good. So also think about it's Christmas soon. It's, it's, it's coming, isn't it, fast? It's the first. Tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? The first? No, when Thursday's the first. So... This would be just beautiful. How wonderful would it be to get these bouquets and be able to play with these? Wonderful. So I've already done a little bit of cutting and snipping ready for being able to show you. So on this one, I've actually done, I've already got all three. I'm sorry, Andrew, say that again. So Andrew's just explaining some of the points to me. And if you, Andrew is up in the gallery and he's helping us with the Facebook Live. So you're getting five points for every pound and it's to the closest pound, okay? So five times 32, so you're getting 160 points. And so that makes one pound 60 off your next purchase. But that's only if you're a Club Highlight member. So become a club highlight member start collecting your points already if you were to buy this collection you've already got one pound 60 in the pot so ah oh, well done nikki fabulous so uh, so nikki oh bless you nick is she really andrew can i say that oh nikki's an elite member wow the more you spend yeah the more product you're going to get for more benefits as well so so obviously but also we've got the training academy that we're going to be bringing to you as well so you don't have to just spend it on product you can save up your points and come and do a class with us here so you can actually come in and actually see us 
So again, like I was saying, these are just beautiful. So I've already gone ahead, done a little bit of snipping. I've made some decoupage elements. So I've cut it out a few times and it's so easy when you're working with something like this to snip into it and create these layers. They're just beautiful. So these are all three that I've already gone ahead and decoupaged up. And all I've done is work from the back and worked forwards. So let me just get this one. I'm just gonna shake all my little bumblebees so I don't lose any back into my bag. Now, generally, this isn't any rule. It's just how I've, I do my decoupage. I usually do it in threes. But on this one, I gave myself a little and I've done far more. I've done so much more decoupage on this because it's just beautiful. And the snippability is super simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over so we can have a look at all these cut lines. If you can, can you get that, Andrew? Can I, is it there? There? So that has got lots and lots and lots of cut lines in it. And it's, so it's really easy to snip into. So what I tend to do is I would have one laid out and I think, right, okay. So that is in the back, it's furthest away. So first of all, I'm gonna chop that top piece off, which is exactly what I've done here. So glasses on. <laughs> Andrew's just mimicking me, glasses on. So we're gonna cut that one off. So that is then my second layer, okay? So we're now coming forward. Then my third layer, I'm gonna have a look, but none of this is wasted because these are gonna be tuck-ins and be little bits and pieces later on. So I'm now having a look and I'm going to take away from here, let's snip that one out, okay? Up and around like so. And then I'm gonna take all of that one off. So that is then my second layer. Oh, Dawn, well done, Dawn. You've got yours, fantastic. So yes, Andrew's just saying, so where I'm sat here is through the wall behind me is the warehouse. So the guys in there, as soon as you've placed your order and it's printed off, they'll be going out of the door straight away this afternoon. That's how quick it is. So. Yeah, hopefully Royal Mail doesn't let us down, okay? But I can't make any promises like that for them, I'm afraid. But we will actually get them out as fast as we can. So like I'm sat here and they're literally through that wall there, printing everything off and packing everything. So that's my third layer. So now I'm thinking, what else can I bring forward? So I'm gonna take away on here, cut down on that one, up and around like so. And again, each one of these, I'm popping to one side because I'm keeping that. And then I'm going to snip this one out, okay? Because this one is underneath, okay? That one's hanging and it's underneath. So that's that layer. And then finally, you see, normally I'm already breaking my own rules. I've already got four layers here. I'm gonna go again. So I'm gonna take that one out, like I say, because that is underneath, it's at the bottom tucked out the way. And then I am going to keep the little bumblebees. So this time I'm gonna go around, around his little wing, up like this, like so. And that is now. So for me, I've broke lots of rules here doing this. So I've got one, two, three, four, I've got five layers that I'm gonna have a go with. So I'm gonna bring in my foam tape, nothing special. And I'm going to shape everything just with my fingers. Okay, so if you've got ball tools and things like that and you're shaping mats, that's fantastic. But just for this, I'm just going to put a little bit of shape in there. Then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this one. And just wait till you see, because of the artwork and how it's been designed and the colour, all the shading and everything is on here. So when you actually start adding extra shadow behind by doing the decoupage, it just comes to life. It really is beautiful. So again, I'm gonna say a quick hello to everybody because there may be some of you that are joining us a little bit later on or have only just joined us. So welcome. Thank you for coming in. 
and watching our brand new launch of this fabulous collection. It just it just sings of summer, doesn't it? Of things to come. But we need to get Christmas out of the way first. So how many of you, I mean, it's controversial, contro I'm going controversial. How many of you have got, already got your tree up? I'm going to say I am one of them. My Christmas tree is already up. It went up this weekend. Are some of you sticklers and say, no, 12 days before and 12 days after? Or are you like me and a bit of a rule breaker? And is yours already up? So, pop on my tape. And each one of these, these is going to be, it's going to create another shadow. So look how easy this is. This one I did with um, silicon glue. So if that's your favorite thing, fabulous. On this instance, I have used foam tape just because it's a little bit quicker. So pop all this in here. Forgot those two little pieces. So take away my tape. And you saw how easy it was to actually cut this out and snip this out. And it's exactly the same for the others. Okay, and I love that we've got different shapes. So to start, I'm gonna cut that green off. Cut your stem off, Amanda. There we go. So that is now lining up like so. That's my first one. Again, cut my stem off again because I don't need all these stems. But I... Juliet is, uh, you, you, Juliet's not a rule breaker. You stick with the two weeks before, two weeks before and two weeks after. Tracy, yours, oh bless you. You're a rule breaker, it's going up this weekend. So, oh we've got, oh see it's controversial. A lot still stick with the two weeks before and two weeks after. Well here we have a mixture. We have some of us that have already got our trees up, some of them that are doing it this weekend. Yep, yeah, theirs is coming out the loft and going up this weekend. If it was up to me, I'd have my tree up all year round because I love my Christmas tree. So that is going on like so. And then finally, how super easy is this to work with? Look at that. That is just beautiful. Okay, so now I have borrowed, don't tell her, one of Stephanie's, um, oh, it's there. Right next to you, Amanda. Borrowed one, one of the little gift bags, but I've borrowed one of these. I'm sorry. James is going up tomorrow. Sorry, the lady that's going up on Sunday. Julie. Well done, Julie. See, everybody's got to get into that season. Spreading a little bit of Christmas spirit. Oh, I've just seen that. I might go with that one. I like that bird in the background. <coughs> Excuse me. So. This is one of the backing papers, just random one I've just been and got. So again, so I'm going to use one of the um, uh, apertures. And I've got, where is it? Here we are. So these are the two, the one that is my silicone one. So I'm going to pop that high up. Okay. This one I'm going to bring in and tuck in doo -doo -doo, like so. But now I've already got these ready to tuck in as well. Look how quick, once you've done all the work, look how beautiful is that. That is just stunning. And that is just, just decoupaging them up. But look look at that in a frame, isn't that beautiful? So let's, let's start again, let's get rid of that one. We'll go with a different one. In fact, let me pull these in here, like so. So we've got a different frame. So if you wanted to, we could just go with something very simple and just have these, just the two of those and a sentiment. Aren't they stunning? So easy, so easy to work with. Swap that out and bring this one in just on this edge. Or let's add a little bit of height. So I've got one that hasn't actually got any decoupage on it. 
and I'm just going to slide that in just like that. Isn't that beautiful? Again, super, super simple. Let's change our background. We already have that one. Let's have another one. Oh, let's go with that. That's that. That's rather nice. So slide that in there. Oh, look at that for the colorway. Pop that there. I'm going to have some reeds. So now I'm using my viewfinder. This is just as a viewfinder, this aperture. I want that those there like so. And then just drop that in on there like that. Oh, that's amazing. And then what I was saying about how easy it is to snip into these. Got a few of our butterflies. This one especially. This creates lots of other elements that we can actually... Um, use as tuck-ins because I'm going to chop off there, there and that little grass piece and then I'm going to bring them in and tuck them in at the top. So this is now adding extra height and it's exactly the same one. So I'm just going to hide that little cut off behind there and just by cutting, trimming off that little tiny piece, I've added more height to it and elongated it. So we can put our butterflies in as well. Let's pull this one in. And again, this one is exactly the same. Oh, the snippability is incredible. I will even go as far as to say this has been one of my, it really has been one of my favourite collections to work with. So one little butterfly, nothing else. He's just going to sit there on his own. And again, adding that, add, adding, adding height. I'm going to, just going to tuck those into the bottom. And because I've tucked that in, I've come in from the side a little bit, but it's so easy to fill it in and bring it round just like that by adding that on there. Aren't they stunning? Absolutely glorious. So shall we go through, show you quickly the samples again because um, the team have done an incredible job. They really have. And like I say, we can always tell when they've loved, loved it because oh, the samples are just wonderful. So, oh, a little bit more inspiration because it would be a shame only just to show you them just the once. So we've got something that's a vellum background, just like I've done, using our um, cutting and aperture, just lovely. Again, with all the little bits and pieces of our decoupage, super, super sweet. Then we've got our home decor, if you remember. And again, cadence paint, it's just been popped on a jar and then the actual artwork has been printed onto vellum and then popped, stuck on with decoupage glue. Isn't that just wonderful? So that is really something very different. Then we've got our beautiful cottage garden. Isn't that just stunning? It really does remind, remind me of a summer cottage garden. And especially because we've got all this activity going on in here. We've got so many butterflies and bees buzzing around. It's just gorgeous super home decor okay so we've gone all out with this one the lovely um lou has done this for us again using our craft master frames and the cadence paints together and look at how much depth you can get in there that's a, just beautiful fabulous that's one of my favorites then just something a little bit more simple a little bit but then can you imagine doing this with all three of them so you could do exactly the same thing, a small little frame and have all three on like a hallway wall or something as you come into a house. That would be really nice. Super sweet. One of my favourites. Love the colourway on this. And I love that we've got the little bees and things in the bottom um, actually creating the stopper to the card. And then we have, again, using the shapes is beautiful. This is, again, one of my favourites. How, how, how simple. Just a beautiful little gift bag. So you can imagine having a little tag and everything on there as well and having your card and everything to match. Because remember, as I said at the beginning, these dies all have an outside line 
uh, outside edge so you could make your card blank in the shape and then pop this on decoupaged up as well as your gift bag so everything would be coordinating and match beautiful again aren't they they they're very similar but not as well if you know what i mean the colorways that have been used but they still look very they're just so beautiful love this collection and as you can see the, the team have as well then we've got another one that's super big but this is all of them so this is all three of them used together in one big scene and again the cadence have also been used on this and lots and lots of decoupage on that one so again when you've got them all decoupaged up they are so versatile and so easy to work with and it is just a fabulous cottage garden, really, isn't it? Even just laying them out like that. If I pop that one that way and tuck that one in there like that, that would be a card already made. And this could be for anybody because they're just gorgeous. They are an absolute delight. So that is the whole collection. Um, so we'll just show you the prices again. So for our bundle which is just fabulous 35.98 this is incredible value for money and then for our lovely club highlight members it comes down to 32.38 and then remember become a club highlight mem uh, member because um, over on the website all the information is there how to become a member and you're already as soon as you start you'll be collecting your points and your points are turning into pennies which is just fabulous so you can even save up and um by collections as they come out so if you go on to our labs website it's uh, highlightcrafts.com and that's where you're going to find this beautiful nature's collectibles volume two and that's where you're going to find all that information about our lovely club highlights which is fabulous we were so excited when that was launched and um it's just I just think it's fab it's just wonderful that we've got it and that you're going to be able to collect those points. Okay, so I'm going to say thank you again for everybody for joining me. It's been wonderful having you along. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the collection and you enjoy actually using it. Don't forget, we'd love to see your make. So email in what you're making and what you did with it because it, the inspiration just grows. And we'll see you all again soon. Take care. Bye.